Hi, my name is Kathy. This is my second YouTube video showing ways to record a drum track for your song using the pre-recorded drum loops that came with the keyboard. In this video, I'm going to show you how to record a drum chain using the section function in pattern mode. And I think you're going to like the, the way this goes. Okay, so first thing you want to do is you want to go to pattern mode. So you'll hit pattern, then you're going to hit voice, and drum assign. That will open up the drum percussion window, so then you'll hit category search. And you should have spent some time in here listening to the different drum beats and, and finding the ones that work for your song. And you know, you take some notes and you write down the ones that you want. So I have already decided that I like this stereo GM kit. So I just highlight that, then I'm gonna go over here to record and hit record. Now that opens up this window. So using your navigation arrows, go up to the top. You want to make sure it's on pattern, not on song. You can use the wheel to choose that. Um, I determined that pattern number 21 was available before I started, so I'm going to go to 21. Section A. This is our first section, so we're starting with section A. You can dial up different section letters, but we're going to start with A. And section length, I just am going to go with two measures. And that might not make sense to you right now, but just hang in here and you'll see what I mean. I have decided I will like arpeggiation five. So I'm now going to hit play, and I have to initiate by striking a key. So here we go. One, two, three. I'm going to strike a key. All right, that's the loop that I wanted, so I'm gonna hit stop, hit saving. Now you may have heard kind of a strange synth sound in there. Um, whenever I drum, bring up the drum beats on my keyboard, I get this odd, this synth voice. Um, but it's no big deal, I'm gonna show you how to delete that at the end. It's very simple. All right, so now we're ready to go to back to pattern mode, and I want now to go, I'm going to navigate to the section area, that's A, I'm now going to go to B, and I'm going to choose another voice, drum a sign, go over here to category search, and I'm just going to go to make this easy, I'm going to stay with power standard, I'm going to hit record but not play. And I have to double check now. I'm still on pattern, still on 21, but now I have to dial up the B. It does not automatically change when you change the other, uh, the section in the other window. All right, two measures, here I go. I'm just gonna go with arpeggiation one, and two, three, four. I'm just doing two measures, that's enough. All right, now I'm gonna hit stop, and it's saving. And now I have another beat, so I'm going to go to section C. I just dialed it up, and I'm going to hit drum, I mean, sorry, voice, drum assign, and I'm back here again. So this time I'm going to go to dry standard, and I'm going to hit record, but not play. Now I have to not, I can't forget, I have to change this section number over here, section letter, to C. This is my third pattern. And I like arpeggiation four, so I'm now ready to record. One, two, three, and go. Okay, so I did two measures of that. And let's say that's uh, that I'm done. No, that's, that's all I need for my song. So the next thing, I'm going to do, we're going to now get rid of that synth voice. So come over here, you're in pattern, go ahead and go to mixing, and as you strike the mixing key, you're going to make sure you're on voice down here on the F2 key. You can see that the drums are on track four, that's where this keyboard dumps the drums, but on track one I have some voice that I don't really want, and that's the voice that you know you're hearing. So go back over here, hit pattern, get out of mixing mode, and go to job, and it brings up this screen. So go down to clear track, see where it says track? 
you want to strike hit track clear track enter and it says clear track section C on track one but I want to dial I'll use my dial until I get the word all because I want all the sections to be cleared now I'm going to hit enter yes I'm sure and so now um, you will not hear that synth sound in the drum loops. All right, we are now ready to record a drum chain. So you go to chain, hit chain, hit record. And you can see right here that we're on section A. Um, and you can use the wheel and change between the sections using the wheel. That's a little tricky when you're in real time recording. So over here, you have 16 numbered keys and when you hit record in chain mode, it, the pattern section should light up. And now this is section A, section B, section C. So these now are section letters instead of numbers. So A, B, C, D, E, you can go all the way up to 16 of them, P, letter P. All right, so I'm ready to record my chain. But before I do, I have already mapped out what I'm going to do. You have to do this or you, you know. You just have to do it. You have to know your song. So I've decided I want two measures of A, section A. Then I want three measures of section B and one measure of section C. All right, so here I go. I'm going to go ahead and start on A. And, and it'll start by itself when you're in chain mode. One, two, now B. Two, I'm on my third measure, three. Now I'm going to C. Okay, and you know, this is just for the sake of showing you how to do it. All right, now, after I have my chain, if you want to listen to it, you just push play. Okay. Now, over here in pattern, don't do anything. Just go right down to edit. Hit edit. And you see song. Go down here. Hit F8. Song. And it says convert to song. Now, before I started, I determined that song 21 was available. So I'm going to go ahead and dial up song 21. And I'm going to hit enter. Yes. Completed. Now I go to song mode, dial up song 21, and let's see if it's there. I'm going to hit play, and I'm going to show you the mixing screen. So see, the drums are on the fourth track in song mode. So you can now uh, edit, you know, add other instruments on all these other tracks, add your bass, add your strings, add your keyboard, piano, whatever you want to do. So I hope this was helpful. I really like using the section uh, mode process for recording drum tracks. Okay, thanks, bye.